impression of the relationship so far, how it's worked between the, the Thunder and the Sharks? And obviously, you're about midway through the first season. Of yeah, I think for a, um, a new relationship that worked very well, we got in, I, I think, a little late uh, last summer. Um, you know, I think with more planning, um, it's possible that we may have uh, supply more uh, more players, uh, si signed players to the to uh, to Stockton. But uh, again, that's a little cyclical. Some years you have them, some years uh, you don't. To uh, to um, be able to come here, but I think. You know, the intentions certainly were uh, have been met, and uh, hopefully the expectations have been met from from Stockton's side. You know, I think if Sexmas injury hadn't occurred, obviously uh, there'd be greater benefit from for both sides. But I think uh, you know we've given an opportunity to a number of guys at training camp under ECHL contracts, and some of them have uh, come back. Chris Lawrence had a good stint uh, a couple of weeks ago, and. Uh, you know, right out of right out of camp, uh, we had uh, somebody stick. So, I think in all, it's been a uh, very positive. This is the relationship you see going for a while. I assume you guys signed a one-year deal, right? Go into I hope season. so. Again, you know, again, it's you know, both sides have to to uh, to agree on it. I think we're it's a great situation for us. You have a really stable. Uh, Organization and management team that's had great success in the league. You have, uh, you know, for our players' environment, great, uh, great fan base, and uh, get to practice in the facility here a lot with, uh, with a great training facility. And also, uh, you know, one of the major reasons we came here is our Sharks' relationship with Matt Thomas, and he, you know, he and his staff. Uh, you have to be concerned about developing your players and that's covered and also the health of the players and I think that's covered also with a very professional staff. Um, it, obviously the, the, the oil is also in here and I, I, the last time I looked it was like eight or nine I forget they, I know it changes a little bit the teams that it seems like more and more teams are getting dual affiliate affiliation, mm -hmm. more ECHL teams do NHL affiliations. Is that just the, the way it's going? Is that more convenient, less, or doesn't really affect you guys most? But it seems like that's the trend down here. Yeah, well, it depends on, you know, we have 30 NHL teams, and now I believe 30 AHL teams, so, and uh, I, I believe you're at 16, 17, 18, somewhere in that in the right. ECHL, so there's going to be some doubling up, and some teams have maintained sole affiliations, but um, you know, we knew the Oilers were here for a number of years, had a great affiliation, and uh, you know, they're both both the Oilers and and the Thunder uh, basically allowed us to come into their their area and to uh, to share the share the affiliation. So uh, to me, it's it's worked very well so far, and hopefully, it can even get better. Do you see a situation, of course, much, much has been made of the proximity from San Jose to Stockton. And I know a player was born in here last year, which sort of started the relationship to come in and practice. Uh, mm -hmm. and one of your NHL guys came in. Do you ever see a, a situation where, like you do sometimes in minor league baseball, where you would use Stockton as sort of, for lack of a better term, a rehab center, where you would either the practice or play a few games because it's so close to San Jose that you could monitor a guy like that coming down? Or yeah, I think I think it's possible. We usually use the uh, you know the AAA team to do that. You know, especially if it's an extended period of time. But I think it's it's possible. If, you know, it's possible. You, you'll see it this year. Guys come for for stints. You know, we haven't done this year. Uh, last year, um, it fulfilled uh, a need. But uh, you know, I think that's yet yet to be seen, and it's uh, situation specific. So we'll just have to see. Obviously, in this valley, especially this uh, media county, a lot of dual shark fans and thunder fans, they mm -hmm. feel it's sort of a natural fit. And if they mm -hmm. did one question when it happened, it's like, why did it take five years? Does it feel because of the proximity? I know you had Fresno, which again, another valley team when, mm -hmm. when uh, Matt was down there. Does this feel kind of like a natural fit? Yeah, very much so. You know, I think it's. Uh it's something that we've been, uh, you know, looking at, but uh, again, had other um, affiliation agreements in place, other, um, um, I guess, relationships that we felt we needed to satisfy. But uh, uh, again, the Oilers uh, 
opened it up uh, that we could come in here. I think the Stockton people would have maintained, uh, um, you know, a, uh, a relationship just with the Oilers if the Oilers hadn't agreed. So I think both, both as I said before, both Stockton and um, in Edmonton, we have to thank for allowing us to come here because we think it is a natural fit. Did uh, Pam Brody's uh, progress in the Crossbass tournament have a, a lot to do with the Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, the coaching staff from Stockton was in the uh, at the rookie tournament in Penticton, B.C., and Cam was at our, uh, on our rookie roster there. And I think Matt liked what he saw, and uh, we obviously directed him this way.